Hi, my name is Zoe Welch. I am the wellness ambassador for Ikaria Design Company. I am also the daughter of founder Pac Matthews and a full-time yoga instructor. I am so excited that you have found us and the Soul Seat. I am here to share with you some of my favorite tips for getting the most out of your Soul Seat, as well as some hacks and stretches that you can use while you wait for your chair to arrive. Hi friends, um, this video is meant to help open and stretch your hips. Um, whether you are waiting for your soul seat to arrive or your hips are just feeling tight, these movements will help to open and stretch your hip area, making it more comfortable to enjoy sitting, whether you're on the floor, um, enjoying multiple positions in your soul seat, or just getting comfortable in a regular chair. So we are going to start in a seat. Um, I like to take a block to lift my hips. And this creates an action similar to the perch of the soul seat, lifts your hips and allows your thighs to relax down, creating more space right here in the pelvic hip area. Go ahead and rest your hands on your thighs, relax your shoulders down and back, and either close your eyes or just relax your gaze down towards your lap. All right, take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, sigh. Again, big breath in, full, complete breath out. You can now start to breathe normally again. And we'll take a scan of your body from head to toe. Just check in with how you're feeling. Right now I'm feeling like my shoulders are hunched forward a little bit, so I'm gonna roll my shoulders back and lift my heart. Feel my sit bones rooting down towards the earth. Just take a scan, a little inventory. Notice what you're working with today. A few more rounds of breath. And gently open your eyes. All right. With that awareness, let's find some movement. Remove your block, pillow, towel, whatever you had underneath your seat. We're going to come to all fours, tabletop. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We'll move through a few cat cows. Inhale, belly to the earth, heart forward. Exhale, press the earth away from you, round your upper spine. Good. Again, inhale, belly drops, heart forward. Exhale as you round. You can continue to move in this way, or you might find a snaking of your spine side to side. Maybe you can circle your hips all the way back towards your heels, around clockwise, and counterclockwise. Yeah. And eventually find your way towards a neutral spine. Cross your shins underneath you, come to a seat, plant your feet flat to the earth, and slowly lower all the way onto your backs. Take your time. All right, once here, stamp your feet flat to the earth, bring your hands to your thighs, Press your thigh bones away from you, creating a little traction for your low back. Good. And then release, relax your shoulders. And we're going to cross your left ankle over your right thigh, creating a figure four shape. Reach through, thread the needle. And you can take a hold behind your right thigh or perhaps in front of your right shin. And if this is just too much for your hips, you can always keep your right foot on the earth. All right, so take the variation that feels good for you. the back of your head on the earth, relax your shoulders, just breathe. And once again, close your eyes or relax your gaze down. And just notice the sensations now that you're feeling in your hips. My hips are pretty tight on this side, but I could use a little more sensation. So I'm going to extend my right leg long, my right heel right up towards the sky. Ooh, and right away I can feel even more of a stretch. All rounds of breath. Stay here as long as you'd like. When you're complete, gently release. Right foot to the earth if it was lifted. And then left foot to the ground. You might find a little windshield wiper of your legs side to side, right and left. Good. And then come back to center. Take the other side. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Either stay here with your left foot planted. Or reach through, thread your needle. And your right and left side are going to be very different. 
Now for me, this side is super open. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend my left leg long. And then to deepen the stretch even further, I'm gonna use my right hand to press my right thigh away from me while still hugging my left thigh in. So this opposition creates lots of sensation. You might feel it in your hips, your glutes, perhaps even your thighs, your calf if you have your leg extended. One more big breath in. Exhale, release, good. Lower your left foot down and then your right. Hug both knees in towards your chest, give yourself a squeeze and rock side to side. Give yourself a little low back massage. All right, hug knees in towards center. Start to rock forward and back, massage the length of your spine. So you come all the way up to a seat. We're gonna find our way back to tabletop to move into pigeon. So I like to get into pigeon from the tabletop. You're gonna extend your left leg back behind you and then draw your right knee behind your right wrist. Untuck your back toes, walk your hands towards your hips. And now the goal in half pigeon, this hip opener, is to get your right shin parallel to the top of your mat. But I've been doing yoga all day and that's just not accessible for me. So I'm gonna draw my right foot a little bit closer to my left hip point. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, melt forward and down. Stop at your forearms. And this might be enough for you. Yeah, if so, rock your hips side to side. Relax your shoulders and just breathe here. If you need a little bit more, go ahead and lower down. Create a pillow with your forearms or grab your block or blanket. Press your forehead all the way down to the earth. Enjoy full rounds of breath here. Stay here as long as you would like. I recommend at least a minute, preferably a minute and a half or two minutes if you can stand it. And when you feel complete, walk hands underneath your chest. Come to sit on your right hip. Swing your left leg forward. So John and Shirshasana. You're going to keep your right knee bent, sole of your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, fold over your left thigh. You might take a hold of some leverage, right? Your thigh, your calf, your feet. Eventually, see if you can rest your arms alongside your leg, palms face up, and just see what's possible using gravity and your breath to fold here. Again, take a scan of your body and just notice what sensations are coming up for you. Let your head hang heavy. Nice, next inhale, slowly roll up. All right, cross at your shins, come back to all fours. Other side, extend your right leg back, and now draw your left knee behind your left wrist. So again, notice what's possible here. You might be able to inch your left foot a little bit more forward. Maybe you need to keep it back closer to your right hip. Take your time to adjust to settle in. Walk hands towards your hips. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, slowly melt forward and down. Again, stopping at your forearms. This might be as far as you go. That's totally cool. Maybe you need a little bit more. You can come all the way down. And if you're on the other side for 30 seconds, then you'll stay here for 30 seconds as well. If you took longer, then by all means, stay longer, just to maintain balance between right and left. Full rounds of breath. When you feel complete, walk hands underneath your chest, come to sit on your left hip, swing your right leg forward. We'll take this on the other side, yeah? Inhale, reach arms overhead, lengthen your side waist. Exhale, bow, fold over your right leg. And taking the opportunity to use some leverage and then letting it go. Arms rest by your side, palms up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt. Let your head hang heavy. Full breath in. Complete breath out. And with every exhale, you might be able to lower just a little bit closer to your right leg. You're complete, slowly roll up, one vertebra at a time. 
<sighs> cross it, your ankles. Nice work. Inhale, reach arms overhead. Exhale, draw hands to heart center. Relax your shoulders back, lift your heart into your thumbs. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.